is not dancer. She belongs on a horse. Beauty. You do not realize it, but that is your misfortune. Good evening, mademoiselle. Who are you now? What are you doing here? May I come in? Well, wait a minute. Don't let me disturb you. What do you want? I've seen all the great dancers in my time, mademoiselle. Last night I saw you dance. Tonight I came again. Oh, you, you think I'm good? No, mademoiselle, far from it. You're still unbelievably clumsy and awkward. On the other hand, there are many things in your favor. You have grace. You have lightness and, and yes, you have very lovely hands. They are almost as important to a dancer as her feet. The question is, how great is your desire, your ambition to be a dancer? Oh, I think I'd give anything in the world. You have not a moment to lose. You must work, work all day, every day. And you must have a teacher, a real oh, teacher. I know, I know, but I don't know anybody. It may open a door for you somewhere. Stanislas Ruth. Oh! Are you really Stanislas Ruth? Mm -hmm. well, my mother used to tell me about you. She said you were the greatest dancer she ever saw. I always thought you were dead. As far as dancing is concerned, I am. And as dancing is my whole life. Good night, mademoiselle, and good fortune. I want to see Mr. Rosing. Mr. Rosing? What do I want from him? He gave me his card. I'm a dancer. Mm, a dancer? Oh, no, 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 please, I must see him. Mr. Rosing is not at home. Honestly? Are you calling me a liar? Oh, oh no, no, of course not, only I... Hey, I well, please but... undertake your friend somewhere else and on the front doorstep. Mr. Rosing, it's not my friend. It's a... Oh, where are you going? Come back! Oh, come back! Come back, you little wench! What are you doing here? Marie! Oh! Out! Now, out of here! No, no, I don't want to go. What do you think I am, a peep show? Get that girl out of here! You tell her that I can wait or I'll throw this right out the window, huh? Put that down, it's my bathrobe! Then you tell her I can wait! All right. All right. She can wait. I see her. And now, please, get out of here! No. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes. Come on. Shut your eyes. Mine now, you promise. Yes, yes, get out of here! But you gave me your card and you said it would open a door for me. Yes, yes, but not this door. I can't run a school here. I'm sorry, Mr. Rosing, I... It's I fantastic. No, no, you must go back to the circus. Marie, take her away. Come on, now, you've seen Mr. Rosing, now you must go. I haven't any place to go. It isn't fair of him to come the way he did last night and put ideas into my head and then turn me away like this. He gave me his card, he even wrote on it. Stop talking about that confounded card. You see what happens when I let you out alone?
have you quit the circus? Yes. Just like that? Yes. Hmm. Is that your bag? Yes. Preposterous. The whole thing is preposterous. Did you hear that, Molly? Polly, what does it mean, Polly? It's Pauline. Oh, Pauline. Yeah. Paulina. Marvina, Lena. Lena Vasavina. How do you like that? Oh, it sounds wonderful. I shall expect Mademoiselle Lena to be ready for her first lesson in an hour. See to it, Molly. Why does she have to stay here? Can't she find a room somewhere? She has no money. And what are we? Millionaires? After all the years of struggle and hard work, at last you have some peace. And now out of nowhere... Didn't you promise the doctor never to teach again? The strain, the excitement... Hush, 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 Marie. There will be no excitement. But I shall teach her to dance if... I have to kill her in the attempt. Or yourself. Marie, you have been with me for 15 years. And how little you know me. Do you think I'm content with my life? What am I? Forgotten idol. You were content before. Before, yes. But now I have the chance to live again. If this girl is what I think she is, whatever name I shall call her, however famous she may make that name, my name will always go with her. Yes, Paris, London, Rome, St. Petersburg. Will this girl lie? I can live again. In your bed. Don't stay in your neck. He is down. No. But Mont I've been asked for two hours. Can I stop? You stop when I tell you, please. like the surface, huh? She was the greatest of them all. Is she still alive? Yes. Yes, and someday if all your dreams come true, the best you can hope for is that there will be a portrait of you on the wall of somebody else's studio. And another young girl will be slumped over. And somebody else's voice will be saying, Plie, Batman, Plie, Batman, Plie, Batman, Plie, Batman. You don't want to be a dancer. Oh, yes, 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 I do, but... All right, then go on. Oh, 
horses. The most beautiful horses. You left your horse in the circus. Oh, but this. Back so... to the bar. No, I... Back I... to the bar. Why do you insist upon walking me like a horse? I've been to that bar for two hours, so I can't stand up any longer. Have you finished your little speech? All right, and we'll start again. Back to the bar. Come on, back to the bar. And one. Mr. Rosing. Marie, how many times must I ask you not to interrupt our lessons? But, monsieur, it is my new look. Sergei, my new look. Hey, where? Sergei. Stanislav. And Kuda. Проезд без Парижа. Спасибо. А что в Петербурге? А ты что ж, не думаешь вернуться обратно? Oh, forgive me, Mr. Rosing. Roger Chavis, my riding companion. How do you do? We're at a hotel in the mountains. Good. Won't you come in and have some tea? Thank you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, what is it this time? Oh, I'm sorry, but Mr. Rosen doesn't allow anybody to watch the lessons. Continue, Lena. Turn to the bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. <laughs> It looks silly. Well, it may look silly, but I'll wager you can't do it. Oh, can't I? No. <laughs> well, go ahead. <laughs> Just a minute. <laughs> well, that's pretty good, but look at your knees. Straighten it out. Well, what's the matter with my knees? Nothing knee? except it looks like a doorknob. Doesn't it, Marie? <laughs> oh, it does, does it? Yes. How'd you like to go for a ride? On all those horses? Mm -hmm. Oh, I... Come on, come on. No, no, I, I couldn't. Uh... I accepted your wager, now you take mine. Lena, don't you dare. Yes, I will. Come on. Lena, stop it. Lena! You're not even out of breath. Well, that's because I'm a good girl and do my exercises every day. Oh, oh this water looks wonderful. Yes, it does. <laughs> you know, Mr. Rosing doesn't allow me to drink while I'm exercising. Where did you learn to ride like that? In a circus. In a circus? Yes. I rode a horse standing up. Really? Yes. <laughs> that was before I came to Mr. Rosing, though. Oh, it's lovely here, isn't it? Haven't you ever been here before? No, never. Don't you ever go out? Oh, yes. Marie and I go walking in the garden every day. What do you do all the time? I practice. Is that all? Uh-huh. But don't you ever do anything else? No. You know, you're practically a prisoner in that house. Oh, no, I'm not. I want to be there. Mr. Rosing is the world's greatest teacher. How long do you have to keep that up? All my life. And never go anywhere, never see anyone? No, I guess not. Well, I've never heard of anyone who'd choose such a life. Oh, I hate to, but I, I think we'd better go back now. Mr. Rosen will be worried. No, there are still a thousand things I want to know about you. Please. Well, where shall I begin? The circus? No. Go back as far as you can remember. All right. Now, let me see. I was born. My name is Lena Vasavina. It's a lovely name. Thank you. Good heavens, it's raining. Now, we've got to go. Oh, my slippers, they're getting wet and they'll be rude. Oh, Bad. Oh. Here, put your show. Thank you. Oh. It isn't so bad in here, is it? Here they come now. Get off that horse. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Rosie. I had no idea it was so late. And get in the but, house, quick. But I didn't do anything. Stupid girl, get in, get in, quick. How could you?
do you do this? What came over you today? Today? Marie, do you realize that for two years I've been a prisoner here? Learning to dance and speak Russian and grammar and manners. I never go anyplace and I never see anybody. At least a prisoner knows how long his sentence is. I don't even know that. Stupid girl, you. The feet are ice cold. Get a mustard bath and hot to make me. Think I was a patient in the hospital? You fool. You don't have to call me names, Mr. Rosing. I haven't done anything. You could have broken a leg. But I didn't. You could have caught pneumonia. The same thing. Well, what are you making such a fuss about? What have I done? What have you done? What have you done? Who do you think you are? Polly Barley? You are Lena Vasarina. What do you think you were when you came to me? You were a pathetic bag of bones who rode a horse in a circus. I didn't ask to teach you. You begged me. For two years I've slaved to make that childish body of yours into an instrument for something much greater than you or anyone else. For the ballet I have made it. For a wonderful art. You. You take the body that I have made and you try to destroy it. I told you I didn't get hurt. That you might have. But I didn't. And besides, I don't care. I'm glad. I enjoyed it. For once I enjoyed myself like any other human being. I was someone I liked. So, you liked that young fool? Yes, I liked him very much indeed. Very soon you will be telling me that you are in love with him. Oh. The dancer has no time for such nonsense. Do you hear, Lena? I have a right to like him if I want to. I'm a person. I'm not a machine. I won't stand for it, Lena. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear. And you know why? Because you're jealous. Because you can't stand! I forbid you to talk that way to me! Oh. I forbid it! God has given you so much. Don't throw it away. Go to Mr. Rossing. Tell him you are sorry. Believe me, it is as much torture for him as it is for you. More. You don't know how much more. Thank you. 